in Proverbs chapter 6, the Bible tells us how much God hates lying. Proverbs 6, 16, these six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. Abomination is strong language. It's, it's a strong, utter hatred. Uh, it says, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and a heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. That's why the Bible says six things that the Lord hates, seven are an abomination unto him. It lists seven things. Lying's mentioned twice. Two times. And just as much as God is true and God gives us the truth and God gives us, God goes through efforts to make sure that his word is preserved and that we can have his word. And when God makes a promise, he is sure to make sure it comes to pass and that we can rely on him as being faithful. So if God says you have eternal life, you have no reason to doubt about that. On the flip side, what we should be able to do, we should have our word matter as well. That's why in God's commandments, he tells us that when you vow a vow, defer not to pay it. When you say something, when you make a statement, when you make a claim, hey, that ought to mean something to you. Don't be one of these people that just rattles off the mouth and your words don't really mean anything. We have a God whose words, every single word that comes out of God's mouth matters and is true, and is right, and can never fail. It's never contradictory. Look, we're not perfect, but we really ought to do a much better job of making sure that the words that we speak can be relied on, can be viewed as faithful, can be true. That if someone were to come to us and say, well, I heard you say this, and I heard you say that, you ought to be able to stand by that. And that means you have to be very careful with the words that you say and how many words you say. The Bible says that a fool's voice is known by a multitude of words. Where, uh, in a multitude of words, there lacketh not, there wanteth not sin. It's real easy to start saying things that are not true and just start repeating things that aren't true, even if you don't know, but you're just, well, this is what I heard. And you start repeating things. That's not how God is. God doesn't just repeat things. Of course, God is the source of all truth and wisdom and knowledge, but we need to be careful. If we're going to try to be true and faithful as Jesus is true and faithful, that we are very careful with our words and we treat our words uh, with respect. 